so you won't own a campground. Why watch this video? This video is just going to be about our background a little bit. You decide. You can say, hey, does this guy know what he's talking about or not? You know, you watch a YouTube video and you have people uh, doing something and some like, man, that guy, he's sharp. He's been doing it for 50 years. He knows what he's talking about. You watch this other guy like, this is the first time he's ever done this. And, you know, he's messed up as much as he's getting it right. So uh, I'll let you watch this one and decide if you want to watch any more. That's up to you. Uh, I am uh, just a high school grad. I uh, went in the Army after high school, worked on Cobra helicopters with 82nd Airborne. Uh, did a few jobs after that. Met my wife. Her dad worked for Duke Power. He got me a job as a lineman there. I did climb poles, hurricanes, you know, storms, whatever, day-to-day you know, -day stuff. Worked downtown underground uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Did that for 13 years. Went to uh, Bell South. Uh, basically the same kind of job. Did that for 13. While I was there, Bell South got bought out for by AT&T. During this time, my wife, she was a medical assistant. She, uh, once we had two kids, she stayed home, became a stay-at-home mom. We had a third child, so it was three under the age of four. She had a pretty pretty busy day. Uh, she worked pretty hard, too. Uh, good at what she did. She was a good mom. Anyway, uh, when the oldest, youngest went to, to kindergarten, she followed. So she went to become a kindergarten assistant. At, uh, at his school, and she did that for 14 years. Uh, when I turned, when I was getting close to 50, uh, AT&T was laying somebody off all the time, and I told her, I said, if I don't get out of here, I'm going to have a heart attack. Just the stress of always wondering, are you going to still be employed? You know, it never got to me, but it got close a few times, and it was always enough to make you wonder. So just so happened, they sent me to Asheville for six months uh, on a job, and they're way of handling it was they'd put you in a motel and give you money for food or they'd give you all the money and you could take care of everything. Well, we camped. I said, babe, I can take my camper up there and, and stay in the camper and probably pocket a lot of money. And we did, you know, it was, it was a good deal for us. But while I was there, you know, I'd go to work every day and come home and there'd be another camper beside us and a one across the road, you know, they'd be there every day, every day or two or whatever. And next day there'd be some more people coming in and it's, it was a nice place, and uh, they had a little store, pond, pool, bathhouse, you know. And I was like, you know, I don't know anything about business, but how hard can this be? You know, you got it's like maintaining your house. You know, you've got electrical stuff you got to keep up with, water, a pool. I had a pool, uh, you know, cleaning, making reservations. I said it can't be that complicated. So uh, it's not like to me, not like a you know, big warehouse where you're worried about shipping and receiving and, and so many employees and, you know, all that kind of thing, or a, a restaurant, you know, I got to keep enough food and out of, oh, they're, at, they're not have this available this week. I'm going to have to change my menu or whatever. All those things seem a little more, more tougher for me. And I don't really have those skills. So I thought campground running, how hard, hard can it be to run a campground? We went to a seminar on campground ownership and I'll get to that maybe in the next video. Uh, and, we started looking. So we found this one right here, Pine Ridge Campground in Roebuck, South Carolina. We bought it in 2013. So we've been doing this now for eight years. Uh, we've done better every year. Part of that's, you know, luck. Part of it's what we do. Part of it's, uh, you know, camping is just growing like crazy. So, you know, perfect storm kind of thing maybe, but I, I feel we made some good decisions and I have some information I can, you know, maybe help somebody else decide. Is this something they want to do or is it something, you know, that may be an option? Uh, we'll talk about building a little bit in another video, buying one in another. After that, we'll talk about, you know, just general owner things, maybe camera etiquette, maybe some how to's. I don't know. It's a lot of options out there. Uh, we'll see. If you like this one and think it's worthwhile, you know, hit the subscribe button, I guess is what it is, uh, or, or uh, 
alerts or, or, or however. I've heard it so many times. I ought to know how to say those things, but I don't really. Uh, but if you watch them, you'll figure it out. They'll be up here, down there, wherever it is. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope uh, feel it's worth worth looking into.